Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to introduce a super exciting project, a DIY welding machine with a low budget and a few easy to find components like safety pin cores and old batteries. You can totally make your own welding machine for repairing or creating metal items right at home. This welding machine is not only cost effective, but also easy to build, making it perfect even for beginners. Let's explore how it works, the simple steps to make it, and some safety tips. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and follow so you won't miss the detailed video. Metal safety pins can conduct electricity, so they can be used as a base or support for securing the soldering tip. I'll use these bolts and nuts to make a clamp holder for the soldering tip. Attach it to one end of the safety pin. To secure the soldering tip, you need to create a small gap between the two flat washers. This gap will act as a clamp, holding the tip firmly in place while still allowing for good electrical contact. With the DIY welding machine, you can carry out simple welding tasks like repairing household items, joining metal parts, or even creating handmade metal crafts. Now I'm going to work on the wiring for the soldering tip. This step is important to ensure proper current flow and stable operation of the DIY welding tool. Strip one end of the wire to expose the copper inside. You can use a wire stripper or a small utility knife. Just be careful not to cut too deep and damage the copper strands. Always work slowly and keep your fingers away from the blade to avoid injury. Next, wrap the exposed copper wire tightly around the metal part of the safety pin. This helps create a secure electrical connection. Make sure the wire is wrapped firmly to avoid any loose contact during use. Now, prepare a piece of wood around 10 centimeters long, just enough to fit comfortably in your hand. This will serve as a handle for the DIY welding tool, making it easier and safer to hold during use. Drill a hole in the middle of the wooden handle. just wide enough for the wire to pass through. This helps keep the wire neat and secure and prevents it from getting away while you're using the tool. Next, thread the wire and the safety pin to the hole you just drilled in the wooden handle. Make sure everything fits snugly with the wire passing through smoothly and the safety pin positioned securely. Now, I'll use some tissue paper and super glue to firmly secure everything in place. The tissue will act as a base to hold the components steady, while the super glue will ensure they stay fixed during use.
Watch the video until the end and let me know which method you like the most. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Take a small piece of paper and insert it into a hole to help secure the safety pin. This will prevent it from shifting around and ensure that the connection stays firm. Next, apply some glue to the paper inside the hole. This will help the paper harden and keep the safety pin securely in place, preventing any movement as you use the tool. Take the other end of the wire and connect it to the battery clamp. Make sure the connection is tight and secure, as this will allow the current to flow properly when the welding tool is in use. The battery clamp allow for quick connections, easy installation and adjustments if needed. This clamp terminal is usually designed with a spring clip or screw tightening mechanism, making it easy to attach and remove without complex tools. These are old batteries. I'll repurpose the graphite rod from old batteries to make the soldering tip. Now, let's disassemble the battery to extract the graphite rod inside. Graphite is a good conductor of electricity and has a high melting point, making it a great choice for this project. I'll sharpen one end to improve the welding contact point.
Attach the graphite rod to the base. Now, let's prepare a motorcycle battery. It has a voltage of 12V, which is enough to power this welding machine. Connect the red wire to the positive terminal and the blue wire to the negative terminal. Before welding, I'll preheat the soldering tip. Now I'll test it with two razor blades. Wow, it works so well. It heats up quickly, creates clean welds, and operates smoothly without any interruptions. A total success after testing it with razor blades. The results exceeded expectations. Fast and strong welding. A well-deserved success.
What do you guys think? Do you like this idea? Don't forget to leave a comment and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Let's test it with aluminum foil. It's super hot.